Hey everyone, I'm Victor and I'm pretty sure you heard about artificial intelligence. Today I want to show you 8 apps that might be useful for your design process. And even if they are not, they're still mind-blowing. So let's get started. And the first app on our list is AutoDraw. Have you ever felt like you cannot draw even simple pictures? AutoDraw checks what you have roughly drawn and tries to guess what you wanted to illustrate. For example, let's try to draw a cell phone. As you can see, I'm not a painter at all. But at the top of the page, they have these suggestions. And as you can see, I indeed wanted to draw a cell phone. So let's try to draw a house, for example. And here we go. All right, the second one. Generated dot photos. Do you know what these people have in common? Well, they don't exist. With this app, you can generate a photo of a person that doesn't exist in real life. Generated photos are created from scratch by artificial intelligence systems. All images can be used for any purpose without worrying about copyrights, distribution rights, infringement claims or royalties. What's cool about it is that you can specify gender, age, emotion, even the length of hair and some other parameters. It has already generated over 2 million photos that are free to use, and they even have an API. Another tool from the same site is called Anonymizer. Anonymizer used for generating photos that look similar to the one you have uploaded. Why? Because you can protect your identity. You can use generated photo in social media that will remind you of your skin color, age, gender, hair, length, and so on. So let's see how it works. I'm going to use two photos. One I use on Twitter and another one is just a random photo. Hmm, now I'm curious to what degree those images resemble me. Upscaler. Upscaler is made by Icons8 that are very well known guys. If you scale your raster images, not vector ones of course, then you'll lose quality. But not with Upscaler. Its purpose is to keep the same image quality when you want to make it bigger. Artificial intelligence in all its glory. Another really handy app from Icons 8 is Background Remover. Often you need to remove background from your photos, but you don't have Photoshop installed or you don't know how to do this or you don't want to do the manual work. Here is when Background Remover comes to the rescue. So let's test it. Here is my photo. As you can see, the result is pretty accurate. Though the photo has pure black background, if we check my other photos, you can see that there might be some flaws, but overall it works perfectly. This person does not exist.com. This app is again about generating human photos. This time it's just a pure domain that doesn't have much on its page, except a photo of a person, a person that doesn't exist. Looks like you cannot change many parameters here. But what I really liked is the simplicity of showing the idea. The domain speaks for itself, you just got a photo and that's it. What could be a better demonstration of artificial intelligence power? This is the most unusual one, yet amazing. So let's see. Resband enables content creation at the speed of thought. Artificial generated media platform for creators. So what it does is bring portraits to life with artificial intelligence magic instantly. So let's check how it works. I will upload the same avatar and hear what we've got. Well, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but still. Hmm. Imagine if you put a photo of a person who is already dead. Looks scary, huh? Beautiful.ai as they describe themselves, the first presentation maker that designs for you. What I liked so much about this app is that it auto layouts things for you. Apart from that, they have image libraries so that you don't need to search manually for images and a tiny but so nice feature. When you change a background, it automatically updates text color to maintain contrast between background and text. 
So we quickly saw some capabilities of artificial intelligence and I will put all the links into the description. If you have any other examples of AI that can be used in design, share it with others in the comments section. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and consider subscribing. It means a lot for me. Thank you and have a nice day.